गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद न्यू चैप्टर फर्स्ट लेट मी रिकॉल सम कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू हैव लर्न इन योर क्लास सिक्स टूडे चैप्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद इज केमिकल्स एंड केमिकल चेंजेस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वॉन्ट यू टेक बैक टू सिक्स क्लास एंड रिकॉल सम कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू हैव लर्न इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास एंड दैट वॉज अबाउट चेंजेस so if i ask you what is a change how do you define change or if i say this duster i am having in my hand if it is unfolded it is this size if i fold it then what happens is it same as it was in the first condition no same way if i am having this piece of paper in my hand this piece of paper is like this folded then one more fold one more fold it has become very small in size or if i take it in my hand and crush it then is it same as it used to be a, a first appearing first no so then there is anything different from what it used to be maybe in the form of size shape or form etc we say that that object has subjected to change when do we say that an object has been has gone through change when it has it becomes something different from what it is like this duster now it is folded its form its size its shape is completely different if i unfold it and like this so do you think it is same as it was earlier no so the duster has gone through change so this was the chapter that you have started uh, that you learned in your 6th class so let us go further the changes used to be like reversible change and a reversible change the changes could be reversible or irreversible now what do you mean by reversible means which can be reversed like the folding of duster it could be reversed we unfolded it it became bigger in size if we folded it it became smaller in size and it was not affected so such type of changes are called re uh, reversible changes like toys etc they break down the size the shape changes can you again make them of the same way no glass is broken you again join it maybe that some pieces were so small or broken that it is not of same way so such type of things such type of changes are called irreversible changes irreversible changes then some changes are temporary and some are permanent now recall some examples of permanent change and temporary change temporary change like right now the duster it was a temporary change it was folded if i am crushing this piece of paper it is a temporary change then if i am opening it then it is a again the same size so it has become a temporary change but what about permanent change like your mother what she does in the evening she does uh, she makes curd out of milk so what she does she sets the milk with some little bit curd inside it and keeps it whole night and in the morning it becomes the milk is converted into curd now can you change this curd again into milk you can't so it is irreversible also and it is a permanent change also same way the food is being cooked like potato vegetable is being made in your kitchen your mother has made the vegetable so can you again bring that potato or tomatoes etc to their original condition no so such type of change is again irreversible as well as permanent changes so now what we learned that changes are of two types reversible or irreversible or they can be temporary or permanent okay so you keep on reminding yourself what we are studying step by step 
then comes on basis of their properties the changes can be of two types again on the basis of their properties it can be if the properties do not change then we say physical change if we take in account the properties then we say chemical change if the properties change like again let us come to this old stuff if i am cutting it if i cut it with a scissor what do you think will happen it will be converted into smaller pieces but do you think the property of the physically it is going to be still a duster it is going to be a cloth yes or no yes it will remain same though the size has changed it has been converted into small pieces but still it is a cloth so such type of change in which the physical properties do not change we call it physical change some examples are like melting of wax if we melt the wax that molten wax is still a wax when evaporation in water takes place the water is boiled and the water which was in liquid state on heating on boiling it comes to gaseous state but still it is water it will get condensed and again it will become water okay that gaseous state so evaporation is again a physical change then expansion you stretch the rubber band okay and you leave it again again it is going to on contraction as well as on expansion the rubber band is still a rubber band it is not going to change it is still a rubber band then recall some more examples the wood it can be cut so that cut wood is again like we are making door out of it though it is irreversible but still it is a wood okay so such type of changes are called physical change what do we call them physical change now how to define them the changes in which properties of an object or substance does not change which properties physical properties are uh, of a substance does not change so we discussed lot of examples also then the another change is chemical change what do you mean by chemical change the chemical changes are those changes in which the chemical properties of the substances change in this case only physical properties were subject to change but chemically they were same but if the chemical properties of a substance changes then we call them chemical change what do we call them chemical change so let us take some example now again let us go to the kitchen of your mom you might have seen that your mother cuts apple for you a fruit okay if she keeps it if she cuts the apple and keep it for some time what do you think is going to happen on the apple the apple pieces they will turn brown is it or not let us take any other example from the kitchen itself like your mother is going to prepare vegetable of potato or brinjal she cuts and leave them some time for some time on the shelf of the kitchen so after some time what you are going to observe they are again changing the color when they are cut they come in a contact with air present in the atmosphere and they become changed the color becomes changed so this change in color of apple potato or brinjal is an example of chemical change again let's go to the another example that we discussed here curdling of milk converting milk into curd it is again a chemical change not just imagine your mother wants you to drink milk you will drink it. but if she says take this curd and drink milk is it of same property or it is different in taste 
and appearance do color may be white but do you think the taste would be same of the milk and the curd milk is used to make tea can you make tea out of curd no because the state of the milk has changed okay the chemical properties of milk has changed milk is now converted into a sour substance or sour product called curd okay so this is how we can differentiate between physical and chemical change now some more examples cooking of food once the food has been cooked do you think that it can be again converted into its original form no so that change is again a chemical change some more examples if we burn this duster again it has come to us this duster if it is burnt do you think still it will remain a cloth no it will get converted into ash so the properties are completely changing same way a wood we cut it we break it or do anything but physical properties are not changing we are making doors out of it still it is a wood but if we burn it it will get converted into ash or coal charcoal so do you think that you can again bring back that wood from the burnt wood no burnt paper will get converted into ash same way candle you might have seen that when candle burns by the evening or by the uh, time the whole candle burn, burns what happens you will see a little patch of little bit candle melt molten wax which has condensed shape is changed over there and a very small white, black color wick so where the wax is gone this wax is burnt so it's again a chemical change melting of wax is physical change but burning of wax is chemical change where it got disappeared it got converted into co2 carbon dioxide and water molecules which got absorbed in the atmosphere so so we have dis discussed about so many examples so now i think you are clear about what is physical and chemical change so today's work that you need to do is tomorrow we are going to start with a new chapter from this so today your work is to define changes what do you mean by change how many types of changes are there then what are reversible and irreversible change what are irreversible and reversible change give examples and differentiate between physical and chemical changes explain with examples